tonight on treatments for the Wuhan virus. Fox News medical contributor Dr. Mark Siegel has been following them, and he joins us tonight with an update. Hey, doctor. Tucker, this is good news for the weekend in the world of science against COVID. Let's start with remdesivir, the antiviral drug. We reported on this all the way back in February. We were probably the first to, to actually interview Dr. Andre Khalil, who was a lead investigator into remdesivir. This drug is a very clever drug, by the way, because it insinuates itself into COVID-19, into the SARS-CoV-2 virus, and the virus mistakes it for a building block. Meanwhile, the antiviral drug stops it from growing. And tonight, Gilead has announced that their data shows that it decreases the death rate in severely ill patients by 60% in the hospital, 60%, and improves the quality of life and improves clinical outcomes. This is huge, and they're coming up now with an inhaled version. The one that's out now is intravenous, and in the inhaled version may be able to be used much earlier. We're getting hundreds of thousands of doses through Health and Human Services. This is a real game changer, very exciting news. The second news tonight is on the vaccine front. BioNTech, which is a vaccine manufacturer working together with our own Pfizer, has come up with information that their first studies on a, what's called a messenger RNA vaccine, Tucker, this vaccine is also very clever. It's a, it's a genetic strand of material that teaches your cells to make the spike protein that's on the virus. And guess what happens next? That protein causes an immune response. You know what the news is today? They have discovered that the immune response, the antibodies, are greater than the amount of antibodies made by somebody recovering from COVID-19. In fact, my inside, inside medical sources tell me that the kind of antibodies being made are neutralizing antibodies, the very kind you need to neutralize this virus. Next stop, 30,000 people will be tested. BioNTech and Pfizer are predicting they're gonna have a vaccine by the end of the year. This looks very, very promising, Tucker. Hats off to Dr. Khalil, hats off to the vaccine scientists. In fact, I want to give a hats off to the whole idea of science, not politics, science, battling COVID-19 in the middle of a pandemic and winning. What a sign of hope for the weekend, Tucker. Middle of not just a pandemic.